Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being a long time God. He said, you only be God's son into the world, and whoso believes in us not perish, but have everlasting life. And we thank you, Father God, for your son Jesus, your only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, the Savior of the world. That by and through him, by and through him, only can man come to the Father. We thank you tonight, Lord, as 2020 is closing and 2021 is upon us. We thank you for bringing us through another year. We give all praise and honor and glory to you tonight, Lord. We ask you for your help in our time of need to rightly divide the word of truth, to magnify your name, to glorify your name. Father God, we ask that you will give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, comfort, edification, and encouragement in the word. Become boldly to the throne of grace. Father God, bless your people, Lord, who are here tonight. May they hear your still small voice as we close out this year, begin a new year, that we can serve you, that we can magnify you, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We got to praise. Hallelujah. God is good. Good evening to each and every one of you here tonight. This watch night service 2020. Amen. Amen. God has been good. Amen. To maintain and keep us and be our shield and buckler and our uh, hedge of protection around us yeah. this year that we can, amen, be in his house strong and healthy. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Open your Bible, if you would, to 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 2. A word that we must continue going over into 2021. 1 Timothy chapter 2, the Apostle Paul imprisoned Nero, the ruler. Nero feeding Christians to the lions. Imprisoned Apostle Paul here. And Apostle Paul writes a letter, pins a letter to his fellow laborer, co-laborer, fellow prisoner, Timothy. And it reads as such in 1 Timothy 2 and 1. I exhort therefore that first of all, supplication, prayers, intercessions, and giving a thank be made for all men. For all men. Even Nero, even the king, even the ruler, even the, the president. First of all, most important of all, Timothy, supplication, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority. Amen? For kings and for all that are in authority, we are to, amen, uh, first of all, pray for them. For kings, amen. We have a president. We have a, a president-elect. The Bible instructs us to pray for our leaders, all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life. We have peace with God. We desire the peace of God. Amen? We, we must pray for, amen, our king, our president, and all those are in authority in the House and the Senate and Congress and all the president's men, his counselors and advisors and the Supreme Court judges and federal judges and all our state judges and the government and the legislature and local dignitaries and leaders. We need to pray for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. 2020 was some year. Amen. 2020 was a year. We desire to live a quiet and peaceable life. The Lord has brought us to the end of this year. Thank you. Amen. Give God praise that he has brought us to the end of this year. Amen. Over 300,000 yeah. didn't make it to the end of the year. So we pray for our king, our president, and all that in authority that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life 
in all godliness and honesty. That we can live for God. Amen? Amen? Yes. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Mm -hmm. When we pray for all those that are in authority, when we pray for the kings and the rulers and the presidents and the prime ministers, amen, and governors and rulers in our nation and beyond our borders, the Bible says that's good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Amen? amen. Our prayers are in the sight of God. It's good and acceptable when we pray for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority. It's good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. Amen? Amen. Who will have all men, the kings, all those that are in authority, mm -hmm. God will have all men to be saved. And to come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. Amen. We need to pray for salvation for our leaders. Amen. Yes. That their, their may their house be saved. Amen. Praise God. That God will save them even though amen, some things they may not be doing, they may be doing that's not of God. We got to pray that their souls be redeemed. Amen. Yes. That God will turn their heart to him who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen? Let's, let's jump down to verse 8. The Apostle Paul continues. He says, I will therefore that men pray everywhere. Mm -hmm. Lifting up holy hands without wrath and without doubting. Amen. Men pray everywhere. everywhere. Amen? Amen? We ought to pray for all men. From the smallest to the greatest. Mm -hmm. We ought to pray for kings and rulers. Amen. That we can live a quiet and peaceable life. Amen. So we have to pray beyond our borders. Mm -hmm. We have a ruler in North Korea. We, amen. Making threats. We want to live a quiet and peaceable life. Pray for him. Yes. We have a leader in uh, 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 Russia. Mm -hmm. We want to live a quiet and peaceable life. We have to pray for the leaders of Russia. And throughout Europe and throughout the Caribbean and throughout the, every continent. Amen? Amen. All men. Amen. Kings, plural. All men that are in authority. We have to maintain that focus in praying for them. Amen? Amen. Amen. We here at United Covenant House of Prayer, we make sure that's the focus of our prayer that we pray for those in authority. Yes. Amen? Amen? From the federal level to the local level. Amen. Throughout the school board, throughout the amen, law enforcement, and amen, and uh, um, all local county and city government, we are praying yes. Thank you, Lord. that we can live a quiet and a peaceable life. Amen. 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 And, and, and stop the murmuring and the bickering and complaining amen. about who's in charge. Amen. amen. Because ultimately, we know who's in charge. The Lord is in charge. God is in charge. Amen. Amen. And I share it with us a, a, a Wednesday night. Amen. Who does the select? Who does the putting up and sit down? Mm -hmm. So that will help us stop murmuring and bickering and complaining about the leader and pray more. Mm -hmm. Because when we murmur and bicker and complain about the leader and we understand that God is the one put him up and he's the one that sets him down. Mm -hmm. So where what are we murmuring about when God is in control? You don't like God's decision? You complain and we complain against what God has done? Well, let's look at it again quickly. Amen. Go to Exodus. Amen. It, it, helped, control me, it helped control me a little bit this week. Amen. I think I slipped up maybe one time. <laughs> Just one time since Wednesday. It's early. Amen. But I caught myself. I didn't hear my wife. She just, I didn't hear her say anything. <laughs> Amen. Exodus 22. You know we love praying for Obama. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, we just loved it. We love prayer when Obama was in office. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we got to get back to it no matter who in office. Mm -hmm. Exodus 22. And verse 28. And it reads, you shall not revile. 
with God, nor curse the ruler of your people. You should not curse the ruler of your people. Instruction Moses gave to the people from God. Amen. Moses didn't speak that because he was the ruler at that time. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. But we should not curse the ruler of your people. Whoever the king, whoever the president, the prime minister, uh, whoever's in authority, the Bible says we should not, amen, uh, curse the, the ruler of your people. Amen? Yeah, praise God. Amen. Let's go on quickly. Look at Daniel. Chapter 2. I want to set this foundation in our mind again of who's doing the choosing. When we have a leader, who, how does that leader arise to that level? Daniel chapter 2 and verse 20. Daniel 2 and 20. And Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and he sets up kings. Amen? God removes kings and he sets up kings. For all those who are in authority over us, God removes kings and he sets up kings. Amen? So let us understand God is in control of all of our rulers and kings and prime ministers and all those are in authority. He removes kings and he sets them up. Amen? Amen. Amen. He even called Nebuchadnezzar my servant. Amen. He delivered Nebuchadnezzar. Yes, he did. Saved him. Yeah. Manasseh, who was, amen, burning Jewish babies, amen, killing the women and he saved him. But we got to pray, amen? Again, look at Isaiah, I'm sorry, Psalms 75. Psalm 75, verse 6 and 7. We're establishing who sets them up and who puts them down. Our leaders. All those in authority, all those, all those kings. Those who have kingly power. Who sets them up? Who puts them down? Psalm 75 and 6. It reads, For promotion comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. It's not coming from Georgia. Promotion is not coming from Georgia. Promotion comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and he sets up another. Amen? Amen. So when we pray for uh, all, all men and our kings and rulers and all those in authority, remember, it's God who puts down one and he does what? He sets up another. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Write this down. I'm not, we're not going to. Ecclesiastes 10 and 20 says, Curse not the king, no, not in your thoughts. Mm. We're not even to think in such a manner. Curse not your king, no, not in your thoughts. Amen? That's the clean, that's the 10 and 20. In Acts chapter 23 and 5, because Paul was being questioned before the Sanhedrin council. He spoke a word and the high priest ordered someone to strike Paul on the mouth. Mm -hmm. And they asked him, you speak to the high priest in such a manner? And Paul's answer was, I do not for you should not speak evil of the ruler of your people. Amen? Amen. That's in Acts 23 and 5. And Romans 13 and 1 says, Let every soul be subject to the higher powers or to the government authority. Let every soul be subject or submissive 
to the higher powers. Amen? Yeah. And 1 Peter 2 and 17 says, honor the king. Honor the king. Amen? That's what the word of God tells us, amen, about our leaders. As we're going into, amen, 2021, let's remember who put some up, set some up, and set some down. He gives promotion. He sets some down. So when we have a leader not conducting themselves, that we can live a quiet and peaceable life, amen, instead of murmuring, bickering, and complaining, and amen, we need to go to God in prayer. Amen? Because he controls the hearts of all men. He can turn their heart whatsoever he desires. Amen? But the people of God, we must, we must pray and trust God's decision about who he, who he has allowed to be in kingly power and authority. Amen? For we know not if all things is God. Amen? For Amen. Job was an upright and righteous man. Mm -hmm. A most prosperous man in his community. Look what happened to him. Mm -hmm. But he was the judge. He was the ruler of his day. So what we should do is just pray. Because we don't know what plan, amen, God, amen, has come forth. Amen? amen? So we should just pray. Amen. Second Chronicles, you don't have to turn now. It says that my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. And turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and heal their land. If my people. Yeah. See, that's, that's our responsibility. We're to humble ourselves and pray. Turn from our wicked ways and pray. Amen? Praise God. My people. Not the lost. It's not the responsibility of the lost to pray for other nation. They're lost. The saints, we are the ones to pray for a quiet and peaceful life for our nation. If my people who are called by my name, that's you and I, would humble themselves and pray, if we would turn from our wicked ways, God said he would heal from heaven and heal our land. Amen? And we, our land needs a healing. Yes, amen. We got pestilence and viruses and diseases and people dying minute by minute. It's not, it's not even an hour or anything. It's minute by minute. We need to pray, humble ourselves and pray that God will heal our land. Amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 27. Deuteronomy 4. Praise God. And we have, let's start in verse, let's start in verse 29. But if from there you seek the Lord, listen, if we seek the Lord, mm -hmm. the Lord your God, you shall find him. If we humble ourselves and pray. If we pray for all men, pray for King. If you will seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. Now, while we are praying, we must seek him with all our heart and with all of our soul. Mm -hmm. Love the Lord thy God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We got to seek him in prayer with all our heart and with all our soul. Amen? Mm -hmm. Look at verse 30. So, when you are in tribulation, or when we are in distress or trouble, and all these things are come upon you, and there have been many things come upon our nation. When all these things are come upon you, even in the latter days, and we are in the latter days, we are in the last days, yes. and the perilous times are upon us, mm -hmm. and they are increasing. Mm -hmm. If you turn to the Lord your God, 
and shall be obedient to his voice. If we humble ourselves, seek his grace and pray, humble ourselves and be obedient to his voice. For the Lord your God is a merciful God. Amen. Amen. He's a what type of God? Merciful. He's a merciful God. Yes. Amen. God. He will not forsake you, neither destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers, which he swore to them. Amen. If we hmm, seek him with all of our heart and with all of our soul. Yes. Amen. Amen. He's a merciful God. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's make sure that going into 2021, we seek him with all of our heart. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We got to, amen, go to God with contrition and cry out unto him with all of our heart. Amen. No lukewarm, lukewarm prayers. Come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy, see, it tells us in Hebrews 4.16 to, to, to become bolder to the throne of grace, to obtain mercy and help in our time of need. And we need help in our country. Yes, we do. Yeah. This is watch night. We are the watchmen mm -hmm. and watch women. Amen. And we need to go bolder to the throne of grace in 2021 to obtain mercy for uh, you and your house and for our nation yes. and help. The Lord knows we need some help. Amen. Look at Isaiah. Chapter 58. Isaiah 58 and verse 9. Isaiah 58 and 9. Let me read there quickly. Amen. Let's start in verse 8. Then shall your, your light break forth as the morning, and your help shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your reward, a real God. Then shall you call. Listen, when we call, mm -hmm. when we call, ah. it's good and acceptable. Mm -hmm. When we call on his name, then shall you call and the Lord shall answer you. Amen. Praise God. And the Lord shall answer you when we call upon him. If my people who are called by my name, the Lord shall answer. You shall cry and you shall say, here I am. Amen. He will reward those who diligently seek him. Amen. Here I am. If you take away from the midst of you, the yoke, the putting forth of the fingers, see, and the speaking of vanity, those things going on amongst the people. And if you draw out your soul to the hungry, see, this, these are things that our nation need to pay attention to. We need to pray about it. If you take away from the midst of you the yoke, because there's a lot of yokes in our nation. The yoke and the putting forth of the finger and speaking wickedly or uh, amen or uh, 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 one to another. Speaking vanity. Look at verse 10. And if you draw out your soul to the hungry, if you give and take care and provide for the hungry. See? These are things our nation must do and our nation is drawing back for providing for the fathers and the widows and the hungry and the poor in our nation. Amen? Amen? We need to pray about the thing that we continue to be a compassionate nation and a giving nation to the poor. And if you draw out your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, yeah. Yeah. those that are oppressed, mm -hmm. then, then shall your light rise in obscurity. See? But when you have 1% control of 99%, And your darkness be as the noonday. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Look at verse 11. And the Lord shall guide you continually. 
See, that's what we need in 2021. Yeah. We need the Lord to guide us continually. But it start, it begins with what? Prayer. Yeah. It begins with prayer. Yeah. These are passages of scriptures we can pray here in Isaiah 58, 9, 10, and 11. And the Lord should guide you continually. And satisfy your soul in the drought. We have a we have a work drought. We have millions upon tens of millions of people out of work. That's a drought. But God said, if we pray and satisfy the afflicted, the hungry, the poor, the needy, the fatherless, and the widows in our nation. The Lord shall guide you continually and satisfy your soul in a drought and make fat your bones. And you should be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Amen. But, amen. You got to go back to verse 9 when it says, You shall cry and he shall say, Here I am. We mm -hmm. who are The Lord's people. If my people. See, it's condition. It's condition, rather, we are praying now. And rather, we are praying with our whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. If my people. Let us focus more on prayer instead of complaining. Amen. 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 Look at Jeremiah 29. Jeremiah 29 and 13. As we go on over to 2021, saints, we must continue to pray. We are the United Covenant House of Prayer. I mean, when I began this church, I, I understood how prayer, important prayer is. And I saw the, amen, I had experienced the uh, 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 um, results of prayer. Amen. And when you pray, God will hear you and say, here I am, and he will provide you answers when you pray. He will lead us continually. That's why the house is named the United Covenant House of Prayer. What did Jesus say? My house should be called a what? A house of prayer. Amen. What's the most least attended meeting in the church? Anybody want to tell me? Mm -hmm. Everybody know the prayer meeting. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah 29. Let's start at verse 12. Well, let's start at verse 11. We all love verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. Uh, hopefully, that's what God, amen, thoughts are for us, amen. Yes, yes. Then shall you call upon me. What's called upon? Praying. Mm -hmm. Then shall you call upon me and you shall go and pray to me mm -hmm. and I will listen to you. Mm -hmm. When we go and pray unto him, he will listen to us. Mm -hmm. And you shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Mm -hmm. And I will be found of you. Amen. Praise God. So let's make sure our prayers are amen. On fire. Looking forward to it. prayer. Amen. That, sh that should be the first thing on our mind to give God thanks for waking us up this morning. Mm -hmm. With sound mind, health, and strength. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It, it, it's most important. Look at, at, at Mark 11. Mark 11. And verse 20. Mark 11, 24. And it reads, Therefore I say to you, what things soever you desire. Amen. And we should desire.
that our king, that our rulers and prime minister and all men be saved. So whatever we desire, when you pray, you believe that God will turn the hearts of the Supreme Court judges. And yes. The president and the vice president and all those men and women in the House and Senate and Congress and your governor and the legislature and your local uh, governmental leaders. What things so have you desire when you pray? Believe that you receive them and you shall have them. You will have the type of leader and president and, and those in authority ruling over you if you desire that and you pray for that. Amen. 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 So we gotta pray with, with faith. Take faith to, to, to pray, amen. amen. And not doubt it. As we go into 2021, and this pestilence, this, I mean, this virus, coronavirus is continuing, and I saw something on the news that says by the end of January, 80,000 people, the CDC says 80,000 people, more people will die by the end of January. And you know, I've been listening to them and saying, oh, they're exaggerating. You know, back in April, May, and June, I said that people just exaggerate. No, I don't believe that no more. They've been on it. When they say something, it happens. Go to James. So we have to pray. We have to pray. Amen. We all watch men and watch women. We don't we, we, we not uh, happy with our leaders and decisions they make. We need to go to God in prayer. James five and six. Amen. I'm no. I'm sorry. That's the wrong one. I meant First John. What am I doing? First John chapter three. That's where I need to. First John 3 and 22. We talk about prayer. As watchmen for God. In 2021. First John 3 and verse 22. It reads, what does it say? And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because he, we keep his commandment and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. Okay, when we pray. What's that we ask? We're focusing on prayer for our leaders, political leaders, religious leaders. What's that we ask? We receive him because we keep his commandments. We must be obedient and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Amen. Amen. We who are the prayer warriors, those of us who are standing in the gap, we got to be pleasing in his sight. We got to be doing those things that are pleasing in His sight, Amen. Praise God. And we got to pray in an acceptable time, Amen. 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 We can't wait till the last minute to pray. We can't wait till the decisions are about to be made to begin to pray. They they announce decisions to be made months in advance, years in advance. We got to pray in an acceptable time, Amen. Look at chapter 5 while we're here in 1 John and verse 14. And it says, and this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Did you get that? If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Now what did the scripture say in 1 Timothy 2? That prayer for your king and ruler is what? Good and what? Acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. So we know that it's amen according to his will. Amen? amen. So we need to have confidence when we pray for our spiritual leaders, amen, and our political leaders that we have in him, that we have confidence that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. He hears us. Because it's good and acceptable. That was 1 Timothy 2 told us. 
So praying for our leaders is good and acceptable in his sight. Amen. So we know that's according to his will. So that tells us that what? He hears us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We got to pray for those things that's not pleasing to God. Look at Proverbs. Chapter 6. Proverbs 6 and 16. Proverbs 6 and 16. You want to pray for our nation? Let's pray. These six things does the Lord hate. Okay? okay? Look at verse 17. A proud look. You seen that before on TV? Mm -hmm. Proud leaders. Arrogant leaders. God hates. So that tells us we need to put that on our prayer list. Proud, arrogant leaders. A proud look. A lying tongue. You ever heard of lies before? Have we heard some lies here recently? Yes. Yeah, God hates proud, lying people. And they're in a position of authority. A proud look, a lying tongue, a hand that shed innocent blood. Do we have law enforcement that shed innocent blood? Are we praying? Look at verse 18. A heart that devises wicked plans. A heart that devises wicked plans. A heart that will take away people, amen, insurance. Or take away their only means of, uh, amen, of providing for their families, their jobs. They have plans. These are things that we are, we are, 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 the Lord hates that's so prevalent in our nation that causes our nation to fall into judgment that we should be praying about it. A false witness. Well, let's go back to verse 18. A heart that divides wicked imagination. Feet that be swift and run into mischief. Flying from one nation to one state to another. A false witness that speaks lies. We've seen all of this. Yes. On the highest level in our nation. Yes. False witness. Go on the stand and sit in front of Congress. Giving testimony. Lying. So many people going to, to prison. High political leaders appointed by our king, our president. And he pardoned all of them out. God not pleased. Amen. See, we have to pray. Yes. That they be saved. A false witness that speaks lies and he that sows discord among the brothers. God hates these things. Amen? Amen. The response of reading says the wicked and him that loveth violence, his, his soul hated. The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hated. Amen. So what should we do? We got to pray. We must pray. Go to Zechariah. Chapter 8. Zechariah, right before Malachi. Chapter 8. Watch him. That's what we are. Watch him before God. Amen. We'll be praying here in a minute. Close to 12. God. Zechariah 8. But I want us to have something to pray about. I, I want us to have something we can pray and keep during the year. Yes. Amen. We can't complain about who the leader is and the, the decisions they're making without prayer. Mm -hmm. Zechariah 8 and verse 16. Listen. <laughs> These are the things that you should shall do. Speak you every man the truth to his neighbor. These are things we should do. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. That's what a leader should do. In the city gates, in the Old Testament, the leaders congregated at the city gates. Mm -hmm. 
I put Boaz <laughs> bought Ruth paid an offering for her in the city gates. Yes. Listen, we have courtrooms and many other buildings now, but we should execute judgment of truth and peace in your gates. That's what we should be praying about, amen? Yes. And that none of you imagine evil in your heart against his neighbor. And love no false oath. For all these are things that I hate, says the Lord. Amen. 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 So we have to pray about these things in our nation. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The imagining of evil in the hearts of people. And the giving of false oaths in the courtrooms. And Lying to the people, amen? Yes. It, it's most important that we agree with God, amen? Amen. Amen. In, in Daniel chapter 4, we find a well known Bible character. In Daniel chapter 4, and, and verse 27. I don't have time to read it. Daniel 4. Look at verse 27. Daniel went to the king, gave him a word from God for the saving of his soul and before judgment came upon him. And listen to what it was. This is what Daniel said to the king. Wherefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable to you. Break off your sins by righteousness and your iniquities by showing mercy to the poor. If it may be a lengthening of your tranquility. See, if we can get our leaders to break off their sins by righteousness and your iniquities by showing mercy to the poor, and our nation is not showing mercy to the poor as we once did as a nation on the federal level. Yes. It may be a lengthening of your tranquility, of the judgment that may come upon you. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 29. That was the word from God to Daniel to Nebuchadnezzar. And at the end of 12 months, they, uh, Nebuchadnezzar walked out in the palace of his kingdom and he spoke, it's not this, this great Babylon that I have built by the house of the kingdom, by the might of my power, and for the honor of my majesty. You ever heard of things similar to that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've heard it. While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O oh, king Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from you. And he was sent out into the wilderness for seven years, King Nebuchadnezzar, as a wild animal, Amen. And, and the Bible says he, he ate grass like an ox. His body was wet. His nails grew like eagle claws and feathers. Amen. Amen. But look what he said in verse 34. At the end of the days, I never can ever lift up my eyes to heaven and my understanding returned to me. All right. And I bless the Most High, and I praise and honor Him that lives forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion. His kingdom is from generation to generation. That's what we want our leaders to understand. Amen. 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 Look what He says in verse thirty-seven. Now I never can ever praise and extol and honor the King of Heaven. All right. All those, all whose works are truth and His ways judgment, and those that walk in pride. He's able to abase. Amen. He's able to bring low. Yes. He's able to humble. All right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We gotta trust God. Amen. How can we walk together? How can we walk with God? Let's, how can two walk together unless they be what? Agree. How can our nation walk with God unless we're not we're not agreed? We got Amen. That's Amos three and three. Mm -hmm. How can two walk together unless they be agreed? We we as a nation of people, we gotta be agree with God. And our leaders have to agree with God that we can live a quiet and peaceable life. Amen? Praise God. Uh, who has walked with God? Enoch walked with God. Yes. The Bible says in Genesis 5. Amen. The Bible says, I don't have time to go there. Noah walked with God. Yes. 
in Genesis 6. Amen? Yeah, we got to learn how to walk with God. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are a praying people. Amen. Praise God. It's very important that we continue to pray. Go to Ezekiel chapter 9. We should be encouraged to pray, encouraging one another to pray, coming to the prayer meeting, having the prayer meeting. Amen. Ezekiel 9. Amen. Are you there? Amen. Verse 1. Ezekiel 9, verse 1. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice and caused them that have charge over the city to destroy, I'm sorry, to draw their, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. Okay, God's ready to destroy the city. With, amen. Because of disobedience. Amen. And idolatry. But he says, Behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate. For to lie together, I'm sorry, for to lie toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand, these angels. And one man among them was clothed with linen and with the right of inkhorn by his side, and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. Listen now. And the God, I'm sorry, the glory of God of Israel was going up from the cherub. The glory of God, the presence of God is leaving. Whereupon Whereupon he was, the, 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 the glory of God of Israel was gone from the cherub, whereupon he was of the threshold of the house, and he's leaving the house of God, and he called to the man clothed with men, which had the right of the acorn by his side. Okay, listen now. And the Lord said to him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sat and cried. Those who are praying mm -hmm. for all the abominations that be done in the midst there. Go mark them. All those who are praying. Mm -hmm. The Lord told the angel, you with the right of the acorn, go mark them. And to the others he said, in my hand, go you, this is Ezekiel, you listen to all this. Go you after him through the city. Those that are not praying, those that are not marked for God as prayer warriors, the watchmen for the city of God, a watchman for the world. He says, go you after him through the city and smite everyone who's not praying. Smite them. And let not your eyes spare, neither have you pity. Slay the old, the young, the maid, the little children, and the women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. Wow. Praise God. Begin at the church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Begin with the saints who are not praying. Yeah. They see the abominations and the sin, the evil, the wickedness that's going on amongst them and amongst the people of God and the nation of Amen, and they're not praying. He says, Mark those that are praying, and the rest of them, judgment coming. And I'm going to begin. At the sanctuary. Amen. 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 Then they began at the ancient men. They began at the at the church and they began with the elders. The ancient men, those who should have been lead prayer. They they began at the ancient men which were before the house, see, the leaders. Amen. Amen. And verse 8 7 says. <laughs> And they went forth and slew in the city. They left the sanctuary and went to the city. And it came to pass, verse 8, while they were slaying men, and I was left, that I fell upon my face and cried, saying, Lord God, will you destroy all the residue of Israel? You're pouring out of your fury upon Jerusalem. Amen. Then he said to me in verse 9, the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great. The iniquity of this country mm -hmm. is exceeding great. Mm -hmm. Exceeding great. If you don't know, believe that our nation is being judged. We are 
Our iniquity is exceeding great in this country. The land is full of blood. So much innocent blood is shed in this nation every day. Yeah. In so many ways. Yes. God sees it all. The land is full of blood and the city is full of perverseness or injustice. Yes. Injustice. For they say, the Lord has forsaken the earth and the Lord sees us not. They say, Amen. Amen. But we know the Lord does see all things. Amen. But we as prayer warriors, we got to pray. Amen. So when the judgment comes, when the judgment is upon us, what did Abraham do when the angel stood outside the city to destroy it? What did Abraham do? He, he said, Lord, will you destroy the righteous with the wicked? He said, if there's 50 in the city, will you destroy the city? Lord said he wouldn't destroy it. What about 45? 40, 30, 20, 10. He went all the way down to what? 10, 5? The Lord said, I won't destroy it. Because what? What did Abraham do? He prayed. That's a merciful God. If we pray, he was ready to destroy the whole city. But who was in the city? Lot, his nephew. See? If he went down to one, he would have, God would have saved him. See? We got to pray. We got to have faith like Abraham. We know Sodom and Gomorrah. That's where Lot was living. Was wicked. God let him destroy those cities years later because they reverted back to their amen, uh, 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 abominations and sexual morality and not feeding the poor and the hungry and the needy. If you read the whole scripture, they, they neglected the poor. So we have to pray. That's what Abraham did. Amen. Amen. We need to we need to pray. <laughs> Amen. And we're going to pray like <laughs> Jesus said, pray. Amen. Amen. We got to pray that his kingdom come and his will be done. Mm -hmm. His kingdom come, his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father, which are in heaven, the Hallelujah, be that name. Thy kingdom. What is the kingdom? His government. We got to pray that his government come on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Isaiah 96 says of our Lord and Savior that, amen, uh, that the government will be upon his shoulders. The government of God is upon the Lord's shoulders. We got we to pray for our nation. We got to pray that the Lord of the heart will send forth laborers into his office yes. throughout our nation and around the world. Amen? Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and his righteousness and all else will be added to you. Yes, Lord. Seek him first. As we go into 2021, as 2020 is, is closing fast. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? It's time for us to be like <laughs> Jacob was when Esau was coming to meet him. Mm -hmm. What did he do? He went and prayed. The Bible says what? He was left alone. He, he was he wrestled with a man all night. Amen. He went and prayed. He said, I ain't letting you go. Did you bless me? Because he thought Esau was coming to kill him. He seen his family give him gifts along the way. And he was left alone, the scripture says. It's time for us to be left alone. We got to separate ourselves. He sent his wife, amen, and his concubine, and his children, amen. He sent them all the way. And about that, he was left alone. And who showed up when he was alone? An angel of the Lord. He said, I'm not letting go until you bless me. But he went in prayer. And we have to learn how to, amen, spend time alone with God. 2021. Yes. Because, amen, our nation, amen, is going through some trials and judgment right now. We got, uh, they're planning now, they're still trying not to even leave office. We got to pray. Mm -hmm. We just can't sit back and think everything going to work out. Mm -hmm. 
It might work out, but not in your favor, where we can live a quiet and peaceable life. Our desire is to live a, what? a quiet and, and a peaceable life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. God has been good to us this yes, year. Yes, Amen. Yes, he brought us through. Yes, this coronavirus, he brought us through. Listen, remember the parable of the ten lepers? Mm -hmm. Yes. Teach. Thank you, Lord. They, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. Mm -hmm. They all was healed on the way. Yes. But only one came back. Uh -huh. He said, what did that tell y'all? Right. See? We need to we need to come back and thank the Lord for bringing us through this year. Yes, glory to God. Because we all know somebody who contracted this virus. Mm -hmm. We all know somebody who didn't make it through this virus. Mm -hmm. But we need so we need to return to the Lord and tell Him as the year closed, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let's be like that one leper that returned and thanked Him. Let's not go over to 2021 20, and thinking everything's just going to be all right. Let us understand why we made it through 2020. Yes. It was your faith. You know what he said? Yes. Made you whole. Yes. Let's stand with God. Amen. Amen. Our whole nation is a city of lepers. When in leprosy, they had a city, all lepers had to live in. Our entire nation is a, is a city of leprosy. A country of leprosy. Every city, no matter how large, how small, you'll find the virus. But what are we watching? We will have to pray. Amen? Give God a praise. Amen? Hallelujah? 2020, 2020 is closing in. 2021 is upon us. We have three minutes. Amen? Amen? We have three minutes and we're into a new year. Wow. God has been good. He's brought us through. Yes. We've been strong and healthy all year. Yes. And we're returning to him to tell him thank you like the one leper did. Let's not go into a new year without looking back and thanking God. Amen. Let's be committed and devoted and loyal to his will, his plan. His, amen. It's good and acceptable as watchmen if we pray for all men and for kings and for uh, and all that are in authority. That's my point I want to make is that we pray for them. That we pray for them. Those in law enforcement, those in amen, political office, the governor, the legislature, the city county commissioners, the school boards, the Amen. Uh, uh, all of our representatives and, and House Senate and Congress, the Supreme Court, all federal judges, we don't know the name. The Lord know. We're going to pray that they will bring forth justice and judgment in their chambers. Yes. Amen. Even the prosecutor and the public defenders and, and uh, uh, Sister Bernie, what's the name of that? that, that State of Turn. State of Turn. Oh, that you always ask us to pray for every Sunday. Yes, but it was something else. And, uh, first parent staff. The first parent staff. Now, she knows something going on in there. First parent staff. Amen. See? Because she worked there. You have to pray about those things. Amen. For justice and judgment to come through. Let us stand. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your presence here tonight. We thank you for bringing us through 2020. Yes, Lord. We thank you for giving us 2020 vision. Yes, yes, we continue to pray. Yes, we sought your face all year, Lord. We thank you. Thank you. For we know that you heard us, for you answered our prayers. Yes, Jesus, and we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise yes, for maintaining, Father God, this house. Yes, Lord. You. For your presence being here. Yes, leaving this candlestick in this house, Lord. Yes, and all the churches of God. Father, we thank you that you have saved souls even in the midst of this virus. Men and women have turned to you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that even doctors and nurses and all those in the medical field understand that there is a God. 
For what they are doing is not enough. There must be a God. We need the Lord. Father, we thank you today for the, the vaccine that have come forth. And we pray, Lord, they will do what we, that we have been told they will do. And help protecting and keeping the people healthy, Lord. We thank you for our president and the House, the Senate, and Congress, and his cabinet, and council, and the advisors. Father, we, we stand in the gap for the saving of their souls. Nothing escaped your eyes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We pray for our Supreme Court justices and all federal judges. Save them, Lord. And may they come to know you that they can bring forth justice and judgment in their decision making. The governors and, and the legislatures of all 50 states, Lord, save them, God. That they will allow the expansion of Medicaid and Medicare. For the benefit of the people. We pray for the peace of Israel, Jerusalem, and the Jews at home and abroad. That they have that they come to know you and they have peace with God and the peace of God. Father God, we pray for all law enforcement throughout our nation. You've seen the shooting in our nation this year. You've seen the innocent blood shed in various ways this year. We ask for forgiveness, Lord. We stand in the gap. We pray like Daniel prayed when he recognized that the end of the 70 years was near. Forgive us for our sin and iniquity and transgression, Lord, as we go into 2021. We pray for our local government, law enforcement, the sheriff, the police chief, the state troopers. Father, we thank you for them. May they do what's written on their vehicles. Protect and serve. Yes, Lord. Save them, God. Thank you, Lord. 2021 is upon us, saints. Give God a praise. We are in 2021. God has grown through. Thank you, Lord. Without you, we can do nothing. Continue to bless our nation. Throughout the world, Lord, may your word go forth. Yes, Lord. We pray that the Lord of the heart will send forth more labor than to his harvest. Yes, Lord. To establish churches and for souls to be saved. That one, we had a 99, Lord. We're speaking of that one in 2021. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We're speaking of that one in 2021. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. May that one be saved. In the name of Jesus. Help us, God, that we not murmur and bicker and complain about who you set up yes, and who you put down. Promotions don't come from north, south, east, and the west, but promotion comes from you, Lord. Yes, May your Holy Spirit remind us of that yes, Lord. this year. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you. That instead of complaining and murmuring and breaking, we'll go to God in prayer. Yes, for those who are making decisions that we can lead, live a quiet and a peaceable life. Yes, to the glory of your name. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. 2021 is upon us. We are here. Praise the Lord. Thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. There's no place better to be found than in the house of God. Amen. We are the house of prayer. United Covenant. House of prayer. So let us continue to pray. Amen. At home, day by day, let us come on Sunday evenings and let us pray as we go on into 2021. Amen. The fastest I will in the church is that prayer. That prayer I mean. Amen. 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 The Lord said, What? When there are two or three gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Yeah. Amen. So it, don't, it don't take many. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're just going to continue to come and pray and trust God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Give God praise again. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord for your attendance here tonight, assembling yourself together. Uh, with one another as we go into 2021 and thank God for you. Amen. We can consider ourselves dismissed. Thank you.